Welcome to Mike's Beer Channel on YouTube. Today, we're going off the deep end. I know we've done craft beers. We've mm -hmm. done mainstream beers. We've done cheap beers, expensive beers. Not really expensive beers, but we're all over the map because I'm just an average beer drinker and I like to drink all beer. <clears throat> I've drank beer I don't like, but I would probably drink it again if someone said, hey, you're here, have this. So anyhow, today... You drink skunky beer. I have drank skunky beer. You drank 25, 35 year old beer. How old was the beer? It was 35 year old beer at least. Mm. I still have another aged. one. No, it's not. It's got weird no. stuff floating Actually, in it. Actually, did you drink it or did you just look at it and go, ah, no, I think I'm going to skip this one? No, the first one we drank. It's on. Oh, yeah. It's what on. Drank? It's on. That one's on Facebook. Mike's beer page on Facebook. It's also on Mike's beer channel on YouTube. Don't forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification button. Today, because we saw Star Wars recently and Billy D. Williams was in it. Okay. Billy D. Williams used to promote Colt 45, which oddly enough has an interesting history. The Bureau of Tobacco and Firearms, ATM, no, ATF. Wanted to ban it because it's at Colt 45, but it's actually named after a running back for the Baltimore Colts. Whose this nickname is never 45. was Colt 45. Is 45. And Billy D. Williams and G. Heleman Brothers, I think it was G. Heleman Brothers, got in trouble with Colt 45 because a lot of groups thought they were purposely targeting African Americans with it. And this is their high gravity version. This 8.5% alcohol. Now, I don't want to say I know all about malt liquor, but I've seen quite a few malt liquors. 8.5, that's pretty high. Most what, of it's What exactly does high gravity mean? Is that like it's brewed at a. The higher gravity has to do with the brewing high process. High altitude? Oh, okay. That you end up with more alcohol in it. Ah. Like Steel Reserves 8.1, uh, Ice House Edge, which we've tested. Did we do that on this channel? Or did we do that? Would on? you stop asking me those things? That's why you have a notebook. I don't remember. And that was 8.1. But this is 8.5. It's, it's high gravity malt liquor. Now, malt liquor, if you see any videos, it's always about the four O's. Rap, rappers talking about four O's. It's malt liquor. That's that's what you that's a very popular drink in certain areas of town of the world. This I get at the Chevron station down the street. <laughs> okay, now that's very light. I always thought, and I've had this problem with uh, Ice House Edge. Now, Steel Reserve is a lot darker. But this, and this is 8.5% alcohol, which is pretty high for a beer. Good thing it's almost bedtime. So, as you can see, it's pretty clear. It's not like crazy dark or anything. No funky cloudy stuff. No funky cloudy stuff. Oh, it's Ooh. time to smell. I smell yeast. I think yeast was the first thing I smelled. Did you smell yeast? I really don't smell much. <laughs> really? I'm the one I'm kind of surprised. I thought it was going to be more fragrant than... Now, just remember, though, it works every time. And this, of course, is actually Colt 45 is actually one of the Pabst brewing beers that they don't actually brew. They have someone else brew it for them. I'm getting weird. I'm getting interesting looks from my wife, which you can't see because she doesn't want to be on camera. No. So I should drink the beer and shut up. Well, I was drinking the beer and I was looking at the can. It's got very sweet. There's there's high fructose corn syrup in here. Yeah. It's very sweet. You can't really taste. It's not like some beers I've had where you can taste the alcohol. You know, it's actually not bad, but the aftertaste is not. No. Mm -mm. It's very, it's got like a, um, I hate to use the word dry because that's like a wine term, but it's got a very, uh, yeah, the aftertaste is not very good at all. No. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, I could, I, I'll admit I've drank this before. You're just weird to me how different the aftertaste is than like what it tastes like going in. Yeah. I mean, this this reminds me of that beer because I I get a yeastiness to it. 
which could be the high gravity part. I'm sorry, it reminds you of which beer? That 35 year old beer. Oh. I forget what it was called. Keystone? I think it was Keystone. I know the second 35 year old beer we couldn't drink because it had stuff floating in it. Yeah. Which, by the way, if you're on Mike's no floaters, channel no on YouTube, you should check out because we have, I want to say, almost 100 videos now. Wow. I'd have to count. Well, some of those beers were drank in the same video. Well, that's true. No, I mean, I think we almost have 100 videos. Oh, wow. Because we, we've tested over 120 beers. We've been doing this that long, huh? Two Christmases. Last hmm. year was our, or last Christmas was our anniversary. I think it's time to start adding some more challenge things in for you. Challenge things? Yeah. We haven't done very many of those. It's no. just been kind of, you know, simple beer tasting. It was the blind taste challenge that you cheated at. Well, next I thought, because um, it's Girl Scout cookie time. You know how Walmart has those imitation Girl Scout cookies? I thought we might do a blind test with cookies. Oh. See if I can tell which one's a Girl Scout cookie and which one's a cheap imitation. Ah, that means I have to buy a Girl Scout cookie. Wow, you do that anyhow. I'm going to get a whole bunch of extra messages from people who watch this video who are selling Girl Scouts. Okay, cookies. well they need to like and subscribe because I still don't have beer glasses. Nope. Anyhow, it, it's not bad. I can drink it. The yeah. aftertaste. Now, picture this. You're eating hot chicken wings and chili cheese fries. It's going to be fine. The aftertaste isn't going to bug you then. No. But, I, I mean, I give it a thumbs up. Now, it's not my favorite high gravity or malt liquor. Because there's a couple. Like, Ice House Edge, I thought was really smooth. It doesn't definitely, it definitely doesn't taste like it's that high alcohol. Doesn't definitely? What? Yes. But Ice House Edge had a smoother taste. It's been a long week. I think. And it's not, we might have to do a malt liquor challenge. Because this is pretty good. I think this would compare favorably with Ice House Edge. I don't know how it would do against Hurricane. I think this is better than like Steel Reserve. Because Steel Reserve is harsh. Steel, Re Steel Reserve is definitely like, bam. But as far, in your far as malt liquors, and I can't get some of the malt liquors because they, like Schlitz makes malt liquors, but you can't get them in Florida. I saw Schlitz on a TV show earlier this week. I don't remember what show it was. Really? It's a beer that made, uh, that was the beer that made... Milwaukee Famous, mm. which is now brewed by Miller, which was a rival of Schlitz, but it's actually produced because Paps Brewing owns the rights to it. <laughs> All the old American beers that no one remembers or everyone remembers their grandfather and father drinking, they're all owned by Paps, except Miller. Miller's owned by Molson Coors. Anyhow, we're way off the subject. Yep, we do that. I mean, I could drink Especially this again. Involved. Yeah. Because okay. there is a point where if you you have a rough day at work, you're on your way home, you got like five bucks to spend, and you just want to relax and forget about work, a four pack of this, <laughs> it's like five bucks and you're not going to remember work because you drink four of these and you're going to be passed out somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. subscribe, hit the notifications. Till next time. Uh.